In people with type 2 diabetes, timely addition of basal insulin to treatment is recommended when non-insulin glucose-lowering agents alone are not adequate to maintain glycemic control. Daily insulin injections can be a burden, however. A new trial evaluated the efficacy and safety of insulin f alpha, a new basal insulin given once weekly, as compared with daily insulin degludec in adults with type 2 diabetes. In this Phase 3 international open-label randomized controlled non-inferiority trial, 928 adults with type 2 diabetes who had not previously received insulin were assigned to receive insulin f once weekly or insulin degludec once daily for 52 weeks, in addition to their usual glucose-lowering agents. The primary endpoint was the non-inferiority of insulin f to insulin degludec with respect to the change in the glycated hemoglobin level from baseline to week 52. The mean glycated hemoglobin level decreased from 8.21% at baseline to 6.97% at week 52 in the insulin f group, and from 8.24% to 7.05% in the insulin degladec group. The estimated treatment difference between the groups was minus 0.09 percentage points, showing non-inferiority of insulin f -Sitora. Among the secondary endpoints, insulin f was also non-inferior to insulin degludec in respect to the change in the glycated hemoglobin level in participants using glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor agonists and in those not using GLP-1 receptor agonists. The rate of combined clinically significant or severe hypoglycemia was similar in the two groups. The authors conclude that in adults with type 2 diabetes who had not previously received insulin, once-weekly insulin f was non-inferior to once-daily insulin degludec in reducing glycated hemoglobin levels at 52 weeks. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.